So hi dear Aries, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal of reading for all the Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is journal. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 1st till the 7th of July and it is valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. If it is not resonating, it's not your story. You can just skip the video, okay? If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like you, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Okay, Aries. Your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Let's see what's happening. We have the devil. Okay, someone is kind of obsessed in the situation. They're obsessively thinking about it or they're obsessively thinking about all the good times that you had. Let me clarify. Or they still have some kind of unhealthy kind of energy surrounding them. Okay, let's clarify the devil as, feel as their feelings for you. Not a good energy, not a healthy energy. Let's see. We have the four of pentacles, ace of pentacles, page of swords. Someone is holding on to you like crazy. They're watching you from a distance. Someone is stalking you like obsessively and they feel like having this brand new beginning with you. But at the same time, they're holding on to this urge of connecting with you again. At the same time, you like stalking you like crazy. What is happening? Someone is obsessively stalking you, wanting to have a brand new beginning with you, but at the same time holding on to this energy of don't say anything to Aries. If it is making any sense, this is somebody from your past. You guys have a connection, you like past, uh, like you guys have a history together. This is somebody who is waiting for a reconciliation kind of a deal, but watching you obsessively from a distance, obsessed with you, obsessed with you, I'm telling you. Let's see, what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side? Aries Seven of Pentacles from your side you uh, from your side Aries you feel like waiting and watching you feel like okay let's wait and watch let's see what can happen let's see what can come out of the situation let's don't uh, make any kind of conclusions or uh, like this okay let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant, the King of Swords and the Moon card. Okay, you feel like cutting the crap and you feel like, uh, okay, you feel like feeding fate over your fear, okay? You feel like going towards spirituality or uh, taking help some kind of, or taking help of some kind of spiritual guru or mentor or healer or somebody who can help you to see things in a positive way, in a positive direction. You definitely feel like waiting and watching and waiting for the right time, waiting for the answers to unfold in a natural way in the coming time. And you feel like not to feed the fear, okay? Not to uh, get uh, too much depressed or too much sad about this, okay? Cool. Yeah, you feel like taking the charge of the uh, taking the charge of your own life and uh, sitting in your power and taking your power back from everything and everyone. Let's see what this person wants from you. Aries, what are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Wheel of Fortune. Uh, their intention is to turn the wheel, flip the page. Whatever is happening, they want to do the opposite of whatever is happening right now in the situation. Okay, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune, flipping the page kind of energy. They don't want to be in this kind of energy anymore. We have the Two of Cups and the Pool card and the Seven of Swords. Okay, see. This person is done with the games, I think. This person wants to come towards you with, with a solution with this kind of energy of okay the mind games are gone the cheating is gone the lies are gone the manipulations are gone can we start with love this person wants to start with love and they want they want to ask you can we start with love uh, let's see one card for seven of uh, swords here yeah this person wants to come towards you with love not with games not with any kind of manipulations not with any kinds of uh, 
you know this is that that is that no they want to clear cut they, have, they want to have a clear cut communication with you and resolve the issue between you and them with lots of love okay they want something serious with you this time let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side i don't know what is happening here but one of you is obsessively waiting for the other person or other energy to respond in that direction okay let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side aries Ten of Pentacles. I think uh, you want something stable. You want a real deal on the table kind of a deal. And this person is behaving like a sneaky energy. They are on and off. They are in and out. They are with you. They are not with you. And you are kind of fed up right now. Hmm. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles here as what you want out of the situation. We have the Two of Swords, the Ten of Swords. I am telling you Page of Wands. You want clear cut answer. You don't want any kind of confusion. You don't want any kind of in, in and out, on and off kind of energy. You want clear cut understanding, clear cut energy of this is what it is. This is the real deal. If you are ready, if somebody is ready to give you that, you are ready to go ahead. Otherwise, you are like, I'm good without you. I'm good without this connection. I'm good without this disaster. I just want to be happy. I just want clarity and uh, understanding on the table. Like this is what it is. Okay. And all you want is a stable kind of a deal. Let's see what's coming towards it till the 7th of July. What could be the possible outcome of the situation here? Eight of Swords, overthinking, a lot of overthinking, a lot of this energy of what should I do, what should I do, what should I do, kind of a deal. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords here. We have the Six of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands. See, I do see communication happening, but that communication is going to lead to some kind of argument or conflict between you guys. Both of you are going to be in this energy of, uh, both of you want to make this work out first of all. But at the same time, both of you have a very totally, a, a totally different approach towards the future direction of the situation. That is going to create a massive conflict between you guys. One of you is going to be like, okay, let's go in this direction. One of you is going to be like, in, uh, let's go in that direction. So both of you want to go in the same direction, but both of you are not able to see the direction as of now. See that uh, like a mutual path or uh, come on the same page kind of a deal. That is why it's going to create lots of chaos and lots of conflict and lots of overthinking between you guys. Even if you guys are going to come together, it's going to, for the time being, it's going to be a lot of conflict and lots of chaos. It's going to be like a lot of fight and a lot of arguments kind of a deal happening. Yeah, you guys are going to feel like this is falling apart. This is not working out, even if you are trying. So, this is the outcome here. Can't change it. Can't say anything uh, more about it. This is what it is. Let's see the guidance for you guys in this situation, honey. We have the Five of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Five of Wands. Yeah. Calm down. Just calm down. Don't say or do anything stupid that you are going to regret later or uh, later in your life. Please make your decisions with a calm mind, with a composed kind of energy, with this kind of knowing that both of you have love for each other. Both of you can sort it out, but both of you need to calm down. Both of you need to relax. Both of you need to understand each other's point of view. And especially you Aries, you need to calm down. You need to relax. You need to win a calm position emotionally, physically, emotionally and mentally in order to take the right decision in this direction. Yes, it's very, very important for you guys to be patient, be calm, be composed in this situation because Aries, I know when when uh, an Aries is angry, they're not going to listen to anybody. So just try to calm down, start, try to remain calm, as relaxed and try to remain composed and try to understand things from their point of view as well and stay calm as much as possible. This is the moral of the story. That is, that is what I'm getting here and let it unfold naturally. Hmm? So thank you so much for tuning in Aries. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.